Hi everybody, we want to now show an inflationary gap in the classical model but with the adjustment. How do we construct this diagram? Well we start by labelling the axis, so price level on the y axis and real GDP on the x axis. We start by showing an economy in full employment, so in equilibrium in the classical model. So the way we do that is we draw AD and SRAS as they are, but that is also the full employment level of output. So draw your LRAS going through that equilibrium and label the equilibrium. So Y, F, E and P1. Okay, so you start with full employment here as we're used to doing. I made a previous video on how to construct that. We then need to show the inflationary gap. So shift AD to the right to show this inflationary gap from AD1 to 82 with a new equilibrium at uh, Y2 and higher inflationary pressure from P1 to P2. That's your inflationary gap. Lovely. So we're doing it with a shift here. If you want to, you can start with AD to the right of full employment. You can do it that way as well. But this way is just going the extra mile and showing how that inflationary gap has been caused. We know in the long run that wages will adjust and will be revised upwards, which will increase costs of production for businesses and shift the SRES curve to the left. Now what you need to draw is the SRES curve shifting but cutting AD at the full employment level of output. Okay, so you need to draw a parallel shift of SRES to the left but cutting AD there. With a ruler this is very easy to do. But that's pretty good without a ruler. Okay, so that shift there takes us back to the full employment level of output with higher inflation once more up to P3. That's how you do it, okay, the adjustment in the long run from an inflationary gap using the classical model. Have we labelled our axis? Yes we have. Have we labelled all of our curves? Yes we have. Lots to label here. Have we labelled the equilibria? Yes we have with all the varying price levels as well. Thanks for watching this guys, an important diagram to learn how to draw. Practice it and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.